Yophelim, Jubilees 34. And in the sixth year of this week, of this 44th Jubilee, Yaakov sent his sons to pasture their sheep and his servants with them to the pastures of Shechem. And the seven kings of the Emorim assembled themselves together against them to slay them, hiding themselves under the trees and to take their cattle as a prey. And Yaakov and Levi and Yehuda and Yosef were in the house with Yitzhak, their father, for his ruach was sorrowful, and they could not leave him. And Binyamin was the youngest, and for this reason remained with his father. And there came the kings of Tapfu, and the kings of Erasa, and the kings of Saragan, and the kings of Selo, and the kings of Gaas, and the king of Beit Koran, and the king of Ma'anesaker, and all those who dwell in these mountains, and who dwell in the woods in the land of Canaan. And they announced this to Yaakov, saying, Behold, the kings of the Amorim have surrounded your sons and plundered their herds. And he arose from his house, he and his three sons, and all the servants of his father, and his own servants. And he went against them with six thousand men who carried swords. And he slew them in the pastures of Shechem and pursued those who fled. And he slew them with the edge of the sword. And he slew Arasa and Tafu and Saragan and Selo and Ma'anasakar and Ga'as. And he recovered his herds. And he prevailed over them and imposed tribute on them that they should pay him tribute five fruit products of their land. And he built Robel and Tamnateres. And he returned in peace and made peace with them. And they became his servants until the day that he and his sons went down into Mitzrayim. And in the seventh year of this week, he sent Yosef to learn about the welfare of his brothers from his house to the land of Shechem. And he found them in the land of Dotan. And they dealt treacherously with him and formed a plot against him to slay him. But changing their minds, they sold him to Yishmael Eli, merchants, and they brought him down into Mitzrayim, and they sold him to Potiphar, the eunuch of Pharaoh, the chief of the cooks, priest of the city of Elu. And the sons of Yaakov slaughtered a kid and dipped the coat of Yosef in the blood and sent it to Yaakov, their father, on the tenth of the seventh month. And he mourned all that night, for they had brought it to him in the evening, and he became feverish with mourning for his death, and he said, An evil beast has devoured Yosef. And all the members of his house mourned with him that day, and they were grieving and mourning with him all that day, and his sons and his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted for his son. And on that day Bilhah heard that Yosef had perished, and she died mourning him. And she was living in Kafratef, and Dinah also, his daughter, 
died after Yosef had perished. And there came these three mornings upon Yashara'el in one month. And they buried Bilhah over against the tomb of Rachel, and Dinah also his daughter they buried there. He mourned for Yosef one year, and did not cease, for he said, Let me go down to Sheol mourning for my son. For this reason it is ordained for the children of Yashara'el, that they should afflict themselves on the tenth of the seventh month, on the day that the news which made him weep for Yosef came to Yaakov his father, that they should make atonement for themselves thereon with a young goat on the tenth of the seventh month, once a year for their sins. For they had grieved the affection of their father regarding Yosef, his son. And this day has been ordained that they should grieve thereon for their sins and for all their transgressions and for all their errors so that they might cleanse themselves on the day, rather that day once a year. And after Yosef perished, the sons of Yaakov took unto themselves women. The name of Reuven's woman is Eda, and the name of Shimon's woman is Adba'a, a Kena'anim. And the name of Livy's woman is Melka, of the daughters of Aram, of the seed of the sons of Terak. And the name of Yahuda's woman, Betasuel, a Kena'ani. And the name of Yishikar's woman, Hezekah. And the name of Zavalin's woman, Ni'iman. And the name of Dan's woman, Egla. And the name of Naphtali's woman, Rasu'u of Aram, Naharim. And the name of Gad's woman, Maka. And the name of Asher's woman, Iona. And the name of Yosef's woman, Enath, And Mitzri, rather the Mitzri. And the name of Binyamin's woman, Easaka. And Shimon repented and took a second woman from Aram, Naharaim as as his brothers.